Are you in the studio? My name is Felix and we're at my studio. Well, my granddad built this studio in 1962, I think. I grew up in a creative family. Both my grandparents on my mum's side were art teachers, artists. When I left school and college and went to art school, I was just in love with the whole art school and the friends and the culture and the socialising and everything. I applied when I was on the foundation to do a, to do a degree. I was so confident that I was just gonna get it easily or something. As soon as I saw the, the letter saying, your application has been denied, it lit this spark in me that was like, whoa, okay, wow, right. And it really inspired me to actually get my shit together. I was, became a stonemason and then I became a laborer. And I, I had a whole different experience of life because of that, but it gave me something really, really good. It gave me like a strong understanding of like a hard day's work. When I saw the book of Jean-Michel Basquiat and Keith Haring when I was 18, some art teacher was like, yeah, you should see these. It was like, oh, <laughs> and then just looking at everything and reading the autobiographies and those two became like big gurus for me. Visually, aesthetically, there's an artist called Ioni Retina, American artist who just absolutely hits my visual cortex with an amazing experience. Now, more recently as well, Mr. Doodle, see him doing his thing and I see him seeing things flowing the way that it flows through me as well. For me, a big part of the painting is the preparation. So setting everything up, getting my paints all sorted before actually beginning to paint. So that when I'm ready to paint, I can press my creation button and just go into pure flow and, and let it flow. Art to me is a way of expressing internal experience into an external object or something that can be shared with others. I had a very strong spiritual experience uh, in something called an ayahuasca ceremony, which is a healing plant, healing medicine from the Amazon that brings on a very strong psychedelic experience, internal, internal visions. And it's the first time I've ever had that experience. The moment I, I, I began to experience it, as soon as I saw the first second, I knew what I'd been doing my whole life. I experienced myself as a bridge between different dimensions. So it's a way to tap into extra dimensional realities, simultaneously present frequencies, channels that can flow through me or through the artist to come into this dimension. I've known Felix for about 10 years, uh, represented him for about five. It's been fascinating to watch his voice evolve and unfold. You know that art school he graduated from? The Slade. The fact that he didn't mention that in his interview says a lot about Felix and I think his work. You know, it's incredibly humble, but very, very powerful. I think his work reflects his vigorous energy and is imbued with that vitality wherever it hangs. Advice for young artists. Financially, save 10% of all your money so that the, the process of making art can be done without the stress of thinking about finances. When I can fully focus on my, on my artwork and my creativity, I am a happy artist. Start with self-love. Love, your, love yourself, love your artwork. Be your best fan, be your number one supporter. I enjoy it, I make it, I love it. That's, like my, that's my foundation, you know? When you apply your mind to something and focus on it, the amount of stuff that you can get done what is, is invaluable. If you combine that work ethic with what you're passionate about and the creative stuff, boom, you make like a really potent combination. Perhaps when people can find they're only an artist. That's a, that's a way to connect to a healthy expression and creation. So what do you think? Is Felix doing a good job in following in the steps of his mentors and inspirations uh, whilst also carving his own path? If you like uh, exploring ideas like this, give us a follow or a share. And uh, thanks very much for watching.